So now I'd like to talk about signed binary addition and subtraction. Okay, so we had just gone over unsigned binary addition and subtraction where we looked at overflow and underflow cases. Now in signed binary addition and subtraction, I'm just going to call the case where you get an invalid result overflow. And there's really um, only one main rule to detecting whether you have overflow or not, and that is if you have two numbers of the same sign and you end up with a number of a different sign. So if you add two positive numbers and you get a negative number, that is an overflow condition. Or if you add two negative numbers and you get a positive number, that is an overflow or you could even call it underflow condition. These are not valid. Why is that not valid? Well, from elementary school you knew that if you add 2 plus 2, you better be getting something more positive and not end up on the left side of your number line. Just like if you add two negative numbers and you add, end up on the right side of your number line, you ended up in the wrong area. Okay, so how does this work? How do we add and subtract um, signed numbers. Well, like we did in unsigned binary addition, basically if you remember that subtracting is just the same thing as adding a negative number. So let's say n1 minus n2, your number 1 minus the number num minus your number 2 is the same one, same thing as saying n1 plus a negative number 2. So we're going to use this fact to be able to do both addition and subtraction. All right, let's start with a case where we're adding two positive numbers and we end up with something. Let's add uh, four, again, we'll stick with four bit binary. So four bits for our number representation. Let's add seven plus six. 7 plus 6, we're hoping to get the number 13, right? So let's represent 7 and 6 in DRC, not DRC, radix complement or 2's complement. The number 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. The number 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. Note that we are adding two positive numbers. Now what is our result? We're going to get 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Look at the result we got. We got a negative number. This is not valid. We were unable to add 7 and 6 and get the number 13 in a 4-bit signed binary. All right, let's try 3 plus 4. Here's the number 3. Here's the number 4. Add this up. Guess what? We got a positive 7. And 3 plus 4 is a positive 7. We had a positive number, a positive number, and ended up with a positive number. The world is happy. Okay, now let's try doing negative 5. How about we do minus 2? So what are we hoping to get? We are hoping to get a negative 7. So we need our negative 5. How do we write the negative 5 in radix complement? We start with a positive 5. We change it to a radix complement by copying down the first one and then flipping. So this is our negative 5. We're going to add a negative 2. What's negative 2? Well, here's our positive 2. Negative 2 is this. So we're going to add a negative 2, which is 1, 1, 1, 0. And we're going to get 1, 0, carry the 1, 0, carry the 1, 1, carry the 1. So this is going to be ignored because we're, we're only caring about now looking at, okay, look, 
we had a negative number, a negative number, and we ended up with a negative number. So that must mean that 1001 is a valid answer. Well, let's see what it is. Well, we copy down the first one and then we flip. Guess what? This is a negative 7. This number here is negative 7 because the 1 says it's negative and then when we look at it in 2's complement, we turn, we figure out that the magnitude is 7. So we got a valid result. We had a negative number and a negative number and ended up with a negative number. Let's try a invalid uh, approach. Let's do negative 5 minus 6. All right, negative 5 minus 6. We already figured out what negative 5 was. It's 1, 0, 1, 1, which is negative 5. What is 6? 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. A negative 6 is 0, 0, is therefore, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here's our negative 6. We're going to add these two up. Here we have two negative numbers, and hopefully we'll get a negative number. We get, we get a positive number. So the world is not happy. This is not valid. Why is it not valid? Because we added a negative number plus a negative number and ended up with a positive number, which is not correct. Negative 5 minus 6 equals negative 11. And we cannot represent negative 11 in a 4-bit unsigned binary. This number is a positive 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. That's not correct at all. So, how about a positive number and a negative number? So let's say we want to do 5 minus 7. So whenever you have a positive number, sorry, positive number plus a negative number, you are guaranteed to get a valid result because you're never going to land outside your range. Here's your number line, your negative numbers and your positive numbers. If you have something over here, and you're adding it to something over here, you're going to end up somewhere in the middle. You're not going to go off the cliff, which is what you're doing in the other cases. If you add two negative numbers and you end up way out here or way out here, you've gone overflow or underflow. But if you add a negative and a positive, you'll end up somewhere in the valid range. All right, so 5 minus 7, here's the number 5. Negative 7, so here's the number 7. Change it to two's complement, copy down the first one, then flip. That's negative seven, so negative seven. This is five. Plus five minus seven. All right, let's go ahead and add them up. We're gonna get a zero, one, 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 one. All right, so a positive five minus seven gave us this result. It has to be valid because we had a positive and a negative number. And what did we end up with? Well, it's some kind of negative number. Let's figure out what negative number it is. We copy down the, till the first one and then flip. We know the magnitude now is 2, so this is equal to a negative 2, which is correct. It's awesome. It is valid.